The acromegaly comprises of two words. Acro means extremity and megaly means enlargement. The acromegaly is a pituitary hormonal disorder in adults where we get the release of excessive growth hormone that somatotropin hormone. And this hormone in excess leads to excessive growth of certain parts of human body, mostly the extremities, like head, hands, feet, etc. And if we see the real cause of this disorder, we know it's by the excessive growth hormone after the growth plates have closed. In comparison to gigantism, we get the excessive growth hormone, but it's before the growth plates have closed. So in case of acromegaly, we get the excessive growth hormone after the growth plates have closed and in case of gigantism, it's before the growth plates have closed. We see it all arises from the pituitary gland because we get the growth hormone from this gland. Under normal conditions, the growth hormone is secreted, which is the normal secretion. But when the pituitary gland has a benign tumor, that's pituitary adenoma, that time we get the hypersecretion of growth hormone. And this hypersecretion leads to metabolic dysfunction, which in turn leads to excessive growth of extremities that's termed as acromegaly. If we see the occurrence of this disorder on the onset of puberty, the individuals are unaffected. And we see this disorder develops in the adulthood. Now let's get to the pathogenesis of acromegaly. Here we see in this diagram we have the pituitary gland. The presence of GHRH and absence of SRIF from hypothalamus drives the release of growth hormone from pituitary. Then this growth hormone gets into the liver where it stimulates the production of IGF-1. And this IGF-1 through various pathways has positive effect on somatic growth and when we get this IGF-1 continuously that leads to metabolic dysfunction. And we see this growth hormone has direct effect on somatic growth also. On the other hand, the pituitary adenoma has subtypes, densely granulated, sparsely granulated, mammosomatotrop, mixed somatoelectrotrop, and acidophil stem cell adenoma. Now getting to the symptoms of acromegaly. The initial symptoms include enlargement of hands and feet, followed by enlargement of forehead, jaw, and nose. There is excessive facial hair, deeper voice, joint pain, and muscle weakness. And furthermore, we have the complications related to the acromegaly. First one is the diabetes mellitus. The excessive growth hormone has diabetogenic effect. We see the primary effect due to this acromegaly is the insulin resistance, followed by the glucose intolerance, and then we get the diabetes. Second important complication is the carpal tunnel syndrome, where we get the increased pressure on median nerve. Other complications include heart failure due to heart enlargement, kidney failure, hypertension, sleep apnea, vision loss, cancers, mostly the gastrointestinal cancers because of the increased activity of PI3K pathway. And uh, furthermore, if we see the treatment or management of acromegaly, we have three ways, surgical, medical and radiotherapy. In surgical treatment, there is surgical removal of pituitary tumors. In medical treatment, we get the somatostatin analogies, growth hormone antagonists, and in radiotherapy, we know this acromegaly is treated by the radiations. So this is what acromegaly is and its symptoms. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.